Hey guys, welcome back to the Stormville YouTube channel. I'm going to do another little eBay video here, and I want to talk about my eBay search rank tool that is on my website, Stormville.net, link in the description below. Because I just recently came out with another tool that's an eBay title optimizing tool, and when I was putting that tool together and talking with the guy doing the coding on it, it kind of reminded me that I haven't talked about my eBay search rank tool in a long time. I actually think... I originally first uh, made it available in 2014 and made some videos back then talking about it, but I have thousands of more subscribers now than when I did then, and I bet a lot of you guys didn't even know it existed, doesn't, don't know what it is, don't know anything about it, so I thought, you know, it's time that I make a video just talking about it, bringing it to people's attention. Um, it does... It gets people going to it. I think I get about 150 to 170 individual users per day to this page, which isn't like astronomical, but it does show that it still has value and that there's plenty of people who still rely on it to give them information about their listings and to help them sell more. And the whole idea behind this tool is to get your items ranked higher in Cassini search results and obviously, like anything else, if you were on Google or Yahoo, Bing, anything, you want to be at the top of the search results because you get seen more often and you have a better odds of selling your item. So what my search rank tool does is you enter in a search term and then you put in the uh, item number of a specific eBay item and it will tell you where that item ranks in the search results. So let's say you put in a search term with a thousand results it'll tell you you are ranked number 10 of a thousand or you are ranked 500 of a thousand obviously the uh, the closer you are to number one the better off you are so I want to do just two examples to show you guys this tool you can use keywords you can use UPC codes you can use ISBN numbers all sorts of things whatever you want to search um, if you're too vague the results really aren't that uh, useful you have to be somewhat specific so if you had a shirt you can't just type I mean you could but you don't want to type just Ralph Lauren because if you just type Ralph Lauren there's probably millions of eBay results uh, you want to be more specific like maybe men's Ralph Lauren shirt or something like that if it's an item with a model number including the model number would be very beneficial or at least the brand name for my examples, and I haven't looked these up yet, so I don't know how good they're going to do. First, I have Loving Family Laundry Room. That's the search term I'm going to use. Um, it's not my exact title, because if I use my exact title, the search results would be a little goofy. But um, I expect this item to rank horribly, because I've had it listed for over a year, and it's never sold. Uh, my problem is Amazon has it for like $9.99 in free shipping, so I just made the eBay listing. Hopefully someone doesn't pay attention and overpays for it, basically. So we're going to search, and it tells us there are 109 listings across two different pages. It's showing 100 items per page, that's why, and it shows what your keyword was. So then we will get, this is the item number for my item. And we'll paste it there. Click get rank. And I am 108 of 129. And here's some of the different listings. And you can click on any of these listings to open up the eBay page. And just check out what other people are doing. How many pictures do they have? What did they take pictures of? Look at how their title is uh, is formatted is it easy to read but also what keywords does it have that maybe yours doesn't something that might be boosting it up a little bit higher check out the item specifics are they including the UPC and any other items that maybe you're not for a toy like this maybe the age you know three up or whatever it is so here's all that and then we also have a couple of videos that tell you changes you can make to improve your ranking and what I would do Personally, I make one change at a time. If you change five or six things, you have no way of knowing what helped and what hurt your item. So I would change something, a little bit later, come back, check the rank. Did it go up? Did it go down? Did it change at all? Who knows? So this is an item, really, it's a waste. I shouldn't even have this on. It's at the bottom of the search results. It's overpriced. Um, really, it's a waste of uh, one of my free listings every month to put up. 
So let's look at the second item. I have an Antec computer fan. Antec's the brand, so it's just a computer fan. One just sold today, so it should be boosted a little bit. I think I've sold six overall. It's more popular on Amazon. It is an item that's new, and I have multiple quantities of. So let's see where that one's ranking. Again, it's one that's been listed for a year or so. I probably should have grabbed one thing that was actually a new listing, but just to give you guys an example of what you can play around with with this tool. So this one has 81 total items, and it all fits on one page, obviously, and it's uh, there's my search term. So, And here I'm ranked number 6 out of 81. So the last one being ranked, what was like 109, 108 or something? That is one that, in a general sense, I would want to make some changes because I want to get higher in the search results. This one, and there's mine right there, um, I can tell by the picture. I didn't count. That's probably six. Uh, this one, I wouldn't mess with it. You're so close to the top. You're, you know, probably above the fold, meaning that when the search results get loaded, someone doesn't have to scroll down to see your listing. You're probably right on the page right then. So you don't want to change something and risk going down. So there you go, guys. That is the eBay search rank tool. Um, I think it's really beneficial. I'm, I was happy when I made it because it did have a really good response when I first made it. and I, just, I haven't talked about it in so long, but it's something that I use, and then you just kind of take it for granted, and you forget that I think when I made this, I had like 1,000 subscribers, maybe 2,000 subscribers, and just the other day I broke 8,000. So it's just a – it's something you forget that people don't know about it, you know, um, so I hope you guys like it. Um, you know, share it on Facebook if you're in a Facebook group. If you know any other resellers, make sure to uh, show it to them and let them know. I really think it's beneficial. It's 100% free. Everything on my website is and always has been free. Um, like I mentioned earlier, I also created this eBay title optimization tool. And I'll do a full video on it down the road, but basically you put in keywords of whatever item you're selling that you're trying to list at the moment or if you already have it listed and you're trying to optimize um, the search rank for it it'll give you suggestions on different keywords to use um, for example we'll just use the example here it is a little vague but just to give you guys an idea so you can see what the tool looks like it takes a second it'll calculate Basically, it's on a scale of 1 to 100 on a keyword score. Sometimes you see one a little bit over 100, but uh, you'll have the most successful keywords, most used, and most competitive. I do have a separate post, which you can find right here, that explains what all the different columns mean and what they do. Um, but this is just meant to suggest other words for you, other things you might include in your title. And I really like it for you know, certain listings it just fits perfectly right the amount of keywords that you have just fit in the title it uses up most of the characters and you're good to go But then there's other times where you've written everything you could think about the item and you've only used up 40 characters you have like a hundred left or whatever the total is and you really need some some filler and it's not keyword stuffing it's just optimizing your space you know making it as complete as possible making it readable but yet full of good accurate keywords so it'll help with that other times you have so many keywords you don't know what to put in there you don't know you know is it best to put a, a hat or cap I mean that's a bad example it's only a three-letter word but you know if there's variations of a word and some people call it this some people call it that well you can go on this tool and see uh, under the most successful keywords well this word ranks higher than that word so that's the one I'm gonna put in my title because it it helps it sell more than the others so there's that. Uh, real quick, let's see what else we got that we can. Uh, my deal catcher tool. I love this thing. I use it all the time. It's an app through IFTTT, and you put in a search, and it works best actually putting in a UPC or an ISBN or something very specific. You put it into the program, which is again free. Everything's free, and you set the price that you want to pay for something. 
And if a search result comes back under a certain price, it'll send you an email. And it'll automatically search it like every 15 minutes. I think it's every 15 minutes. I'm not exactly sure. It's IFTTT that does it. But it's a great way to get alerted by great deals. And it works great for if you're a collector, but also if you're a reseller, if there's an item that you know is hot and that's getting listed somewhat often, and maybe it's selling for $100, but some bozo might list it for $25. So you set up your app for that search result with a max price of $25. And it emails you right away when that item's listed, and then you can make a decision if that's something you could resell then for a profit. So it's another thing I really like. All these are available on struggleville.net. Like I said, there will be a link to the main uh, tool I was talking about, the eBay search rank tool. That link will be below. And if you just hover over the eBay help, there's a bunch of other little tools and, uh, and help <laughs> for eBay sellers. So. Thanks for watching, guys. Make sure to give the video a like. If you're not already a subscriber, subscribe to the channel. In the future, I will do full videos on some of these other tools. So, thanks for watching.